All right, here's the finished product. Let me get the outside shot. $150 total. And, uh, and I bought enough plastic to do this twice. So really it would be about $75 if you wanted to make one and just buy enough plastic for one. But this is the finished product. So continue watching the video and I'll basically go through and kind of show you the steps of how we did it. Thanks, and keep watching. All right, so by now you've already seen the finished product. Now we'll show you how we put together in one day. So I got an old window pane that we're reusing. I got uh, two two by six by sixteen uh, pressure treated, uh, two by six by eight, and three two by four uh, by eight pressure treated, and three cattle panels that are. 50 inches by 16 foot so there's three there and they're the big honky ones and uh, and basically when you put them in your your truck you got to fold them in half like this so the point will be towards your cab and uh, for tools we're using um, circular saw hammer drill and uh, we're gonna put this thing together all right step two you're gonna use your sawhorse aka redneck truck um, you're going to put your 16 footers up there, you mark 150 inches in the middle, you cut off your excess, I put 16 inches on the outside, so I'm using three panels, that's why it's 150 inches, if you're using four panels it would be 200 inches. What I did is I measured two and a half inches down, two and a half inches over, cut this off, this will be the bottom of the uh, uh, greenhouse. So I can either pull it or use these as handles or something like that. Uh, also makes it look a little bit nicer. It's going to be sitting in your yard. But, I mean, it's a greenhouse. Next step is I cut my 2x6 to 7 foot, the one that was 8 foot. I made a frame, basically. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cattle panel on one side, just like you would load it in your truck. Then you fold it up. It makes an arc and you hook it in this side and then I will uh, attach it to the 2x6's um, on the sides what I'll do is I'll put a 2x4 underneath the cattle panels just to keep a spacing of uh, one and a half inches all the way around and then what I'll do is um, I'll take fencing staples and nail them in every I don't know 8 inches or so so we'll show you what, um, what it looks like after that all right, so we used uh, fencing staples, inch and um, a half or inch and three quarter fencing staples, and uh, braced the bottom of this, um, a two by four width on its side, so an inch and a half off the ground. And so this is what it looks like right now. Now what I gotta do is come in here where they meet up and put them together and zip tie them, and then I'll drag it outside and uh, put these sides up. One side is going to have a window, the window that I showed you, and the other side is going to have a homemade door. Alright, so this is uh, the hoop house now. See, it's all uniform. Those are all my zip ties. The important thing with the zip tie is this piece right here, you want on the inside, you can cut them so it'll be still smooth on the outside. You don't want anything to puncture the plastic. Alright, so it's almost uh, at a stopping point for tonight I'm losing daylight I'm gonna throw some braces up on the, uh, the sides here so this is the window side of it and it has been moved into place so I can make sure everything's gonna be level with the ground out of my garage so I'm gonna put a brace over here a brace over there um, it'll be a, bit, a little bit less than four foot tall that way it'd be like a bench and um, a shelf too same um, side on the other side and what I'll do is I'll put two by fours across and that'll act as the bench slash um, shelf and then probably in the middle I'll have to put a few posts up or whatnot so this is it for tonight and um, I will do the next step which is those braces and what I'll have to do is put the plastic over 
and I will film that. Alright, so here's what I did um, after the last video. I put the doors on in the window. These are the furring strips. Basically what I did is I pulled it tight, flipped it over, and this part I just bunched over um, in a few spots around kind of to make the arc. So there's that side. And then across the bottoms, I put a piece of furring strip. And what I did is I just took my extra 2x4 and cut like a quarter inch off. And then across the back, this is a window. Uh, and I'll show you that thing in the, in the inside. But I took about a, a 4 inch piece of plastic, folded it in half, and to make kind of like a seal to keep the heat in slash bugs out around the window. So this is what the back looks like. We'll go across the side here. To the front. In total, I have spent $150. Um, that's including all the hardware, everything, and the plastic. The, but the plastic, I bought enough plastic for two greenhouses. So when this one, when the plastic actually goes bad on this, um, I will get new plastic. The plastic is this reinforced um, cloth inside. Uh, it says it's like extra heavy duty. So we'll see. My camera's already starting to fog up because how hot it is in here. We also put a uh, temperature gauge in here and it registers inside the house that way and this is how the windows work I got two locks on both sides you push the window out there it'll clear up and then I have a hinge and then a little cutout here for the window to sit so at night basically you have it all shut and then during the day uh, you'll open it if it's hot because it a few days ago it got 108 degrees in here So these are the benches. This is six foot long on this side two six foot long sections and this is about um, two feet Wide so you could put a few trays you can see we have one tray of starter um, Tomatoes in here and this these are just little tomatoes. I mean you can see the grass how thick the grass is compared to the outside and then I have one four foot table and then I have just a little one you can put your coffee your radio or your, your phone and um, stuff like that just to keep out of the way and then this area we'll put like potted plants like we can grow cucumber and the good thing about growing cucumber in these things and I, I left the space on the sides is you put a cucumber plant in a pot on, under there and it will trellis up the um, the metal without hurting it. That's not going to hurt the metal at all. There it is.